If you have picky eaters at home, uh, this might not be uh, the best news for this you. This is terrible news. New research shows that kids may not grow out of being fussy over those foods. And you know what? You know me, Jason. Yeah. Big mama pressuring, mm -hmm. it just doesn't help them. Yeah. Terrible news for your entire strategy of dealing sure with this, Heather. You got it. Yeah, I'm just pretty much doing everything wrong there. Yeah. <laughs> so they found that picky eating is uh, well established by age four. So I think a lot of people think like, oh, my kid's picky at two or three. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. No, four-year-olds, five-year-olds, they're picky too. Mm -hmm. But uh, the biggest thing was that the more you control right. a kid's diet, the fussier they become. Yeah, and it was interesting to me, the more you restrict some of the, the stuff, that, the unhealthy stuff, the right. fussier they become there. Riley, I know you have one that eats everything and one fussy one at your house. Yes, yes, my son is definitely a little bit more in the way of fussy and kind of a picky eater. Um, he picks a little bit more. Luckily, they do both like cauliflower and broccoli, so I'm on the good side That's with good. that one. Now, my daughter will eat pretty much anything you put in front of her, and then she'll want to eat his that he doesn't finish. <laughs> so, I mean, she definitely she definitely has a, a good appetite with that one. Uh, my Yeah, my son definitely uh, is a picky. So, I mean, so here's the deal. So, I, I mean, I was a picky eater, pickier as a kid, and I kind of still am. You know, I mean, I don't like mayonnaise or ranch, and I will not have it. I don't care if it's on the sandwich or you can't see it. I know it's there. I'm not going <laughs> to eat it. Um, so, you know, it's just one of my things. And, uh, and, and I think my son probably is going to have that as well. So, you know, I, I, I sit him down at, at dinner time. You know, I, I, I want him to have the manners. So you're, we're working on manners right now. Um, but, uh, you know, if they don't want to eat something, I'll say, you know, try it. And if they try it then, and they don't like it, you know, they typically say no like or don't like, don't want. Um, and then I kind of just take it away and say, hey, you know, maybe you'll come back and try it later. If not, eh, you know what, no big deal. But I definitely, I definitely uh, have a picky eater, and I'm probably just going to assume that he's going to maybe be that way uh, for a long time. <laughs> and Jason, I love what you do with your kids, though, and it's something that we're starting this summer is that you have them grow some of their veggies and now have them cook some of the food there and actually we found that 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 works well it helps yeah i mean like look i'm gonna be honest like there's no solution to this right, right. Uh, for every parent you know who has a kid that's an adventurous eater the other kid is probably a pickier eater it's just it's uh, i i don't know that there's any magic solution to this mm -mm. but like we found it helped when they were yeah. younger to get to pick to plant certain mm -hmm. vegetables and then they would you know I, i'll never forget when they were like five and uh seven and they were like picking zucchini right off the vine and eating it and you're like this is amazing you like, <laughs> you're like, but they were excited they planted it and it it, it was magic to them mm -hmm. So that helps, and then picking out cool. their menu stuff like that, yeah. making them cook. Like, but we, you know, our pickier eater will make him eat when he doesn't want to. Right. Like he doesn't want to eat the vegetables. No. And I'm sure, like the parenting geniuses out there, want right. you to be like, you know, have a conversation. Yeah. Like, just talk about feelings. About no, like sit there and eat the stupid food. Like we've been here for 45 minutes. <laughs> so I don't, Wheel and, of Fortune is over. Now the neighborhood is on. Right. Like let's wrap this up. You know, and I'm sorry to say that some of your uh, good advice, Jason, has backfired on you because when you have uh, young teenagers who want to eat sushi. Yeah, that was stupid too. Yeah, That's right? so expensive. <laughs> it's all right to have them eating mac and cheese. Yes. Okay? <laughs>